guess what's in there. So today a real quick catch up on what's been happening over the past few days. Um, had a really good practice day with Harry uh, a couple days ago, went out on the golf course, played a nine hole match. He won, did a bit of short game practice there. Then the day after me and James went to American Golf for the final qualifying of the Long Drive Championship. Um, that'll all be explained in the video in a minute. I managed, I basically I managed to knock one out there like 3-5-1. Um, James managed to hit one like 3-8-5 but it wasn't on the grid, he just kept on hooking it off the planet left. Um, but it was a very, very fun last couple of days. Of days, for days. Really, I just wanna, again, and I know I do it in every video, but I just wanna thank all of you for for all the support and what you're doing. Um, a guy called Lee Cameron, he messaged me on my last YouTube video uh, where I discussed Golf Data Lab, the fact that I wanna invest in that and start um, recording all my statistics and analysis a lot more accurately. And Golf Data Lab is a really good tool to allow you to do that. This guy got in contact with me, he said, I'll pay for it, get yourself Golf Data Lab, set yourself up, and I was just like, wow, not only that, Golf Data Lab was like 79.50, and Lee, you gave, you chucked in 100 quid into my account, and he said, with the rest of the money, buy some nappies. I <laughs> just, you're such, honestly, shut up. You are amazing, like, I've actually written down now a list of people who are contributing to this, because I feel bad taking, taking money from total strangers, or, like, I'm just going to go through the list and I'm um, because I'm rambling on. Obviously, first on the list is Mother Hen. She's helped me out so much this season um, with regards to tournaments, um, traveling, expenses, etc. My dad's been chucking me bits of money here and there as well. So my parents have been the biggest help towards this so far. Um, so a massive thank you to them. Graham Arnott. Graham, you've been incredible. Um, he's paid for numerous tournaments for me, helped me with expenses and um, the last one we travelled to, Ealing Pairs, helped me with that, paid for the, paid for the hotel and everything. It's just a, an amazing amount of support and Graham's become a really, really good friend of mine as well. So hi Graham, if you're watching, just thank you to you. Um, you've seriously helped me so much along this journey so far. Mark Sheehan, another viewer, got in touch on Instagram, asked me if I wanted a new glove, sent me a new glove. Lee, obviously what we got Data Lab, talked about that just a second ago. Jamie from Australia. Now this is a video which is yet to come out. Jamie, um, like I said, lives in Australia. He got in contact with Harry and set this uh, set this thing up. I don't want to speak too much about it because I want it to be a surprise when the video actually comes out. It's just that Callaway kind of have taken the time sending the driver. Um, but he basically, he's, he's basically bought me a new driver. You guys are yet to see it, but that video is going to be coming out soon. So a huge thank you to Jamie as well. Um, Gary Smith, back earlier in the season as well. Um, in sort of, I think it was January, February time when the weather was quite bad, sent me a waterproof jacket. I think that's because everybody was fed up with me wearing that. Oh, um, I'm gonna. I was wearing it in every single video for like four months, and he was kind enough to send me um, a waterproof jacket for me to wear. Just the generosity is incredible, and again, I really can't thank you all enough. Thank you guys so much. Um, and the, I mean. Just as many thanks goes out to every single one of you who who are watching the videos every day. Because um, if it wasn't for you, where would I even be? Ah. Anyway, we're going to back it up a couple of days here. A couple of days. Going to back it up a couple of days to Tuesday when me and Harry had a practice day. Then it's going to go over to American Golf where we did the long drive with James. There's a bit bits and bobs of footage which I haven't really been able to make into a daily vlog which I'm going to put into this one. Yes! So that's what's going to happen today. I'm sorry it's a bit of a cut up vlog but it's just kind of like all I've got. I'm trying to piece things together. There's something else I was going to say. When I do get into tournaments now I'm going to take a lot more time preparing. I'm not going to go to TB Tour events now one day before. If I do play one um, I'll allow at least two days to go up there and prepare and get used to the greens. I just need to need to enter the tournaments in a mindset where I'm putting in as much preparation as I possibly can at the venue. It may mean that I have to play less events, but um, I'll have a better chance of shooting a, a decent score if I do prepare properly. So that's my plan from here on out. That being said, my funding for the rest of the season is pretty much zero now. I don't have any money left for tournaments, so... Um, yeah, I'm just kind of hoping that something pops up and I kind of yeah, maybe be out of place or two or three for the rest of the year. Um, open qualifying is going to be probably my last one until the baby comes. Um, and then over that period, there'll probably be like a six week gap where I'll be taking time off. Um, probably be taking like two weeks off when baby comes. 
um, to spend some time with Jen and uh, and our newborn little human. And then after that, I want to play, um, yeah, sort of two or three, maybe four tournaments for the rest of the season, depending on what funding I get. Um, if you guys didn't see my post the other day, I've set up a Patreon page. If you, if you want, you do not have to at all. It's not me begging for money, but I've set up a Patreon page. If you guys want to donate a certain amount of money each month towards this, um, it will go towards the development of this YouTube channel, um, or it will go towards the development of my golf uh, tournament expenses, entry fees, etc., um, I'll put a link in the description below. Like I said, you don't have to, but if you'd like to donate a certain amount of money each month, even if it's just like one, like it's in dollars because it's an American website, so even if it's just like one dollar a month, absolutely fine. If it's nothing, fine as well. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Boy. Hello. What's been happening in the life of you, Harry? What have you been up to? Playing lots of golf, Harry. Making cuts on Euro Pro? Yeah. Oh, give me those. What's happened to your neck? I showed the viewers a picture of your neck earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Are you flossing again? Nah, no, that was my elbows. What you pin? Um, back left there. Make a lift there. Let's get a nice little. Uh, Spin. That's pretty shocking. Just give it a little bit more. Do you want me to? Um... Okay. I'm just going to offer you some short game lessons if you want. Like my, obviously, my short game is well practiced. Well practiced. It's very well practiced. Why do you get some inches? Because um, I miss every green. <laughs> Done by there, I hit a nice. Because I'm not using them. Ow. This is driver wedge if you get driver away. Wind helping out the left. Left, no low left. Members missed there. Birdie, birdies are in. I hit that really well as well. Did you? So it would have been down about 350. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right, so me and Harry are playing a match, ten pounds over nine holes. It's such an excuse, mate. It's horrendous. You probably haven't even hurt your neck. This is literally impossible where he is. If you make up and down, I'll slap myself in my face with my sandwich. Just got caught up in the rough, he's on the fringe. So one thing I haven't told you guys yet is I've got the most horrendous pairing for open qualifying. I'm uh, playing with this guy who's just, just can't stand the bloke. But it's just one of those where you've got to kind of focus on your own game and not just not let the outside influences really uh, get to you. How many players are playing? 100? 140 something. Are you sure? Yeah. Not that many. It will be about that much. Yeah. I've been paired with him. To be fair, last time I played yeah, I think with you. I've been paired with you. Yeah. Last time I played with you, I actually had. An, like an average round of golf. Ninth hole here, seventh hole for us. How far? I never forgot one of, forget one of the shots that I got on camera here. I think it was either Nixie's shot or your shot. Followed it all the way in the air till it landed on the green. So weird to think that was like four years ago now. And the rest. I mean, look where we are now. I know, just. Still playing for the golf club. <laughs> Oh. Wind pushed out that way, didn't yeah. it? No, I think no, I think you just yeah, I held it Actually up. I don't know. I held it up on purpose because I thought it was in the two out the right. Yeah, I thought it was as well. Come on, Harold. We've played how many hours have we played? This is our seventh. Hang on, white's on the back, isn't it? Yeah. The last time you took five minutes to hit a shot you um skanked it to about two foot, do you remember? Remember that? High post, was it? Oh, that was a fucking shot. Oh, your hair! Lid for days! Don't do that, mate. You take all the hairspray out of it, don't sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Any nibble? All the hairspray, Jesus. Lid's eat. All right, great club. All right. All right. <laughs> What's that here? Is it the pro shop? <laughs> else, someone's clapping from um. Is that actually just hit the pro shop? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, has it hit a window? It hasn't just hit a window. Oh my god, let's give that a try. What's it done? Someone's just come out to wave at us. I think it might have come back in bounds. Or you've hit the wind. Oh my god, have I just smashed a window? <laughs> Look at the lid! <laughs> Mate, that's calm for having the skankiest lid you've ever seen. Harry, that wasn't the problem. The problem was it was 40 yards right. It's either, it's either hit, it's either hit I the- I tried to draw that in, the wind's clearly off the left, isn't it? You hit a shank. I ripped that. Wow, we're on That would not have hit the pro shop unless I ripped that. It's it might have hit the down. tree short of the pro shop. There's a tree short of it. It sounded more like a tree, didn't it? Yeah. Mate, you cannot say you ripped that. We'll look back on the video and we'll look at the lack of divot. Make my hair, I can't keep playing with my hair like this. 
I don't know what's more shocking, the shot itself or the fact that Harry thought, thought that he hit it well. It's 40 yards right of the pin. I did, I hit that well, I just faded it. Mate, it started so... It started so far right as well though. Turns out I hit the top of the tree. And uh, now I've got 40 yards. Got the members watching. Shout out to the to the gents having a pint on a Monday. Good distance, but miles right. Latte. Morning Dan, morning Arlo, gonna have a nice strong latte this morning. Oh lovely, get that in there. Oh, I have to meet Dan at Torquay. Then meeting coach, good old coach. Oh, a little bit more left in there, a bit stuck, get that out. That's it, that should wake me up this morning. So I'm just sat down, just had some breakfast and waiting for James to arrive. How many times have I said that before? Fuel? What do you need fuel for? I'm really, really, really low and I won't, I won't make it back to the petrol station. Oh, I see. That's fair enough. Alright, that's fine. How long are you going to be? 20? Alright, cool. See you in a minute. Bye. That boy is useless. We just arrived at American Golf ready for the long drive contest and to be honest with you I'm actually really nervous um, I've been preparing for this for the last yeah sh yourself lad oh, I've put a lot of work into this um, a lot of time on the track man a lot of time on the range um, I'm just hoping that on this one day that I can kind of perform is that the track the track man make sure you do your hair mate I better do my hair son <laughs> just in case you know just in case they have to take some photos of me once I uh, qualify for the finals. <laughs> you know, so. That's it, I'll just leave it like that. Alright. No cameras, please. <clears throat> Thank you. 